Welcome to another Dawson's Adventure DIY video. I'm gonna make some Blair Witch stick figures, some creepy ones to spook up your Halloween. A little extra decor, cause I'm not a crook. And I'm gonna make Halloween great again. Mm, I think that's the wrong guy. Trust me, trust me. Honest A won't lie to you. Trust me. Alrighty, here's our tools. We got some uh, tree branches. We've been doing a little bit of uh, cutting for spring. We're going to use some uh, twine, cordless drill, and we're going to use some screws. We're going to make them, I've seen a lot of people do them out of glue and just twine alone. We're going to make them a little more sturdier so they'll last more than one season. Uh, hang on. Okay, we uh, have laid our sticks out. You need at least uh, four sticks, two for, to make the X, and then one to make kind of like the cross down the middle. And we're gonna come back in and we're gonna screw them together so they'll hold up a little bit longer. And we've actually assembled two of them here. We're just gonna put some hardware in and we're gonna put some twine around them. All right, all we're gonna do is pre-drill some holes Keep the wood from splitting when we add the screws. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, do the rest of the joints, pre-drill them and put the screws in and come back. All right, so I've got some pre-drilled holes and I already put the X and the main body together. So now I'm gonna come through the pre-drilled holes at the top. And there it is. All I gotta do is add the, the twine. All right. There's our creepy stick figure. That movie was probably so old ago, you can probably take credit for creating these creepy stick figures to hang in your Halloween display. No one will probably ever know. I won't tell anybody. I'm gonna take the twine or string and tie a knot. So I'm gonna leave enough of a tail to tie the other end when I get done here. And I just kind of go back and forth with it. Making it look like this is what's holding it together as opposed to the hardware. Like I said, I've seen other people do it online with glue and the string, and I'm sure that works for them. I just want something to last a little longer, a little more substantial. If I build it, I want to be able to use it for multiple years without the glue getting overheated and breaking down.
Got a pair of pliers and dikes to cut the string. Scissors or knife would work. We'll continue on and I'll check back with you. Alrighty, here's my finished product. I did a couple of these little things right here. money I got in it is uh, twine and a couple screws. Till next time, folks. Take it from Honest Dave. We need a car. I mean, DIYs, here we are. Thank you for watching.